All right, before we get started uh, and have some opening remarks here, the all tournament team will be as follows from uh, Cal State San Bernardino, Cedric Aldman, uh, from Nova Southeastern, MJ Araldi, and Shane Hunter, from Minnesota State, Kyrese Willingham, and Malik Willingham. Malik Willingham is the tournament's most outstanding player. For Minnesota State, this is their first trip to the championship game. Previously reached the semifinals and only uh, one, on only Elite Eight appearance in 2011. Fourth school from the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference to appear in the national championship game. Wyoming State in six, seven, and eight. Augustana in 16. Northern State in 18, with Wyoming State winning the title in six, eight, and Augustana in 16. This is the fourth national title for the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference. Second school from the state of Minnesota to play in a championship game, as previously said, Wyona State in three straight championships. It is the seventh central region champion to play in the last, in the eight national championship games. Six previous, seven won the national title. Minnesota State is the second school in NCAA division history to have its men's and women's team win the yeah. championship game. Hell yeah. Joining Central Missouri 40 years ago in 1983 and 84 season. With that, with a win, the championship game, the Mavericks would tie their longest winning streak of the season with 16 games. So, I didn't know that either. <laughs> a lot of information right there, a highly competitive game. Yeah. Coach, your overall impressions <laughs> for today. Oh, boy. Um, I want to congratulate Nova Southeast. I mean, obviously, just an unbelievable program, and, and um, the, obviously very, very successful. Now, we, you know, we, I felt at halftime, I felt really good because the way we started the game uh, was a train wreck. I mean, we just we, we didn't uh, defensively lock in the way we needed to, and we have been. Um, I think we, we they just got us to play fast, but um, but we settled in a little bit late in the, in the first half, uh, knocked down some shots, and um, I thought going into halftime, just down two. Uh, we, we were doing we were doing just fine, and, and yeah, you know, I talked to a lot of people this morning, and um, you know, a guy told me said, you know, once once the hectic pace gets settled in, then a basketball game will start, and that's kind of the way I, I looked at it. And um, at halftime, we I just I told our guys the basketball game is just starting right now, and you saw the way we came out in the second half, and we've done that a lot in the last month of the season where we haven't been a great first half team, but played extremely well in the second half. Um, you know, we, we made plays after play. I thought if we could continue to score with them, we'd be just fine, because I thought we could do that. Um, and I kept on talking about our toughness. And I, I'm telling you, it, it just shows, and I told in, in the pregame, our region is very, very, very good. Our league is very, very, very good. And it showed, it prepared us for this stage. And, and our guys, uh, it, it, the stage wasn't too big for them. Um, you know, I thought it wasn't just one or two people. I mean, everyone up here tonight made big plays. And, and I, when I, again, I can't say enough about when I recruit these young men and they come here and we do this. Um, this is the vision that we had, always had. I, and I've always dreamt of what it's going to feel like when you win a national championship. And it's, it's unfreaking believable. I mean, it, it is, it is, it's awesome. And, and, um, it, but I'm, I'm happy for our guys. I'm, I'm happy for these young men. They're up here right now, um, you know, four to five are seniors. Um, you know, or th uh, three, three out of five are seniors. Yeah, I, I, I get, that's my Western Illinois math. Um, three, three, yeah, exactly. Three out of five are seniors. Um, we've got, we've got a great, nice crew coming back. Um, and I don't even want to talk about that at all, but it's, we're, we're going to enjoy this. And, and how about the, the last 24 hours for Minnesota State University? That our women's basketball team goes and wins a national championship last night in St. Joe, Missouri. We absolutely, we, we get this one here. I mean, it, it you know, it's a it's a basketball school. It's a basketball town. It's a, it it is. I mean, and that it's it's just that's a it's a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm proud of our women. I'm proud of our men. Um, and and uh, and we're gonna enjoy this one. With us today, we have uh, the starting lineup for Minnesota State, and we'll open the floor to questions for these five men. Justin, there were a couple times in the first half where you gave the team kind of let's pump the brakes, let's slow down. You did it one more time when they made that run in the second half. Just talk a little bit about how you want to make sure that te you guys maintain your composure, weathered those storms, and got to where you are right now. Um, yeah, I see uh, we have a lot of emotional guys that play with a lot of emotion, which isn't a bad thing, but we also need to know that 
it's a game of runs that they're going to make runs, but we also need to keep our cool, relax, and not play the emotion of the game and do what we do. We don't play 100 miles per hour, and it's fine. But we just got to settle back in, and I make sure I be that voice for us that, hey, we're good. They just made their run, but now we have to relock back in and just settle into the game, in which we did. Kyrie's going into this tournament, how many times have you sat out backyard playground saying, I'm going to hit this shot to win a championship, and then it just happened? Man, it's just unbelievable. I don't even know what to say right now. It's just an unbelievable feeling. I'm just glad we got the win. I just The other day, I was just, uh, there was like five seconds left. So I was like, five, four. And I, yeah, I was just in my home road, but I was doing the five, four, three. Yeah, and shot it when the buzzer went off. So it just feels great that like, it came to real life, and I really just came out, out there and hit the shot. And then think Malik made the right play again, just like he always does, and found me. And I got to send my boys out the right way, man. Nothing better. Kyrie, to follow up on that, how many times did Malik actually let you take that shot when you were a kid? I was surprised he had the most confidence in me, but I was surprised he gave it up a little bit. But I know Malik has a ton of confidence in me, and he knows what I'm capable of. And he wouldn't have gave me that pass if he didn't believe in me and if he didn't think I could shoot it. So just all the credit to Malik for finding me, and everything's just, it's just great right now. Malik, you got assists on the region on the shot that won the regional championship and the, and now the national championship. Uh, just talk about uh, how much faith you have in your teammates throughout this season, just to, for them to make the big shots. I mean, yeah, it's nothing new to me or, or the team really. I mean, we've been doing this since the summer. Uh, I feel like it's all the hard work we put in in the summer. It's all the time we spend with each other, all the talks that we had to get to this moment. You know, uh, we talked about it all year since the summer to get to this moment. And like Justin said, man, it's so great to have a guy like that to control, especially me and Kai out there. We play with a lot of emotion. Y'all know that. <laughs> but having guys like Dylan and Justin and Elijah to come kind of like calm us down, that was huge for us this year. You know, they hold, they hold us each other. My bad, I'm fast right now. But <laughs> they hold us each other. I mean, they hold us accountable every day. And, uh, you know, I can't thank these guys enough. I can't thank the guys out there enough. You know, Brady Williams is a huge guy that I'm forever going to be grateful to play with, too. Uh, you know, he, he held me accountable since he got here his freshman year. And, you know, uh, he might have not got a lot of attention throughout the year, but he's one of the top players in the, in the league, too. And he deserves all the credit that we get. H deserves all the credit that we get. Malcolm and all, 1 through 15, it's, just, it's a dream come true. It's, it's crazy. Dylan and Elijah, just talk about the last 12 months for you guys and how it ends right here on this stage. Yeah, I can start. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> It's kind of unbelievable. I mean, the position we were in basically a year ago from now, I never really would have imagined I would be in this position right now. I mean, it's been unbelievable, and I can't thank Coach Morgan Thaler, the whole coaching staff, everyone on the team. I can't thank them enough because I've really made this last year, honestly, the best year of my life. On the court, off the court, these are friends that I'm going to have forever. I just, I'm really appreciative of this university and everyone here. Yeah, I feel like you hit it on the head. Uh, this last year has just been so fun for me. Uh, the vision kind of just came to fruition tonight. And you know, these guys here are going to be lifelong friends. Everyone that's in the locker right now is going to be lifelong friends. This coaching staff, Coach Morgan Thaler has been such a blessing to me because I have, me and Dylan have, just to be candid, have not had the best past at Truman. And, um, <laughs> I just gotta give a shout out to the coaching staff. They've been such a blessing to us, and you know I love them. I'm uh, stay in touch with them for life. Yeah. I got two questions. First for Coach Marion Thaler. Ladders and scissors. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I came in late. I didn't know the rules. How about Justin? We'll go with Justin Egan's. And uh, Justin, I wrote on my program today the guy that was going to have a huge game shooting, and I put down Justin E. How do you stay so calm and so cool out there? I mean, there's, there's no such thing as a shot that seems to get you nervous. Talk about how you keep your composure. Because um, all the work I put in over the summer and throughout the year, I'm always in the gym outside of practice. It's just another shot at the end of the day, and I'm just going to keep believing in myself and the work that I put in. So having, uh, having the ball at the end of the shot clock doesn't scare me or worry me. I'm just going to do what I've always done, what I've worked to do. Let's call for the student athletes. All right, gentlemen. Party like it's Thank you so much.
Coaches for coach. Questions for coach. Now I have a question for Matt. Okay. First of all, uh, ladders and scissors, yes, way sir. to get the job done. And a second question, I mean, we've talked about this all season. I mean, since game in November in Kansas City, this was the goal. This was the dream. I know yesterday you said it multiple times, we're playing for a national championship. It was unreal. Talk about the emotion you're feeling right now because you guys are national champions. Yeah, um, it, it's, it's surreal. I don't, um, it hadn't really hit me yet, to be quite honest with you. I'm just happy that I got to... Uh, to spend it with my family, um, whew, my, my, my dad, uh, my two sons, my wife has been here. She's been integral in everything I do. Um, you know, she's, she's the leader of our house and, and um, she absolutely has been a difference in my life. My friends are here from Macomb, Illinois. Um, I just got, I got a great support system. I mean, it's amazing what I've got, and uh, I'm very blessed um, to be the head basketball coach here at Minnesota State. I'm blessed to be able to, to coach these young men. Um, they, their family, I mean, when we, when we, like I've said this before, I think when we say math fam, it's not just saying it, it's a real thing. And I mean, and I love every one of those young men. And I mean, we, we have a very special bonding. And I'm gonna, I mean, I, I mean I, I'm, I'm sad, it's over. I mean, it's, I, I, I'm, these guys, are a special group, and, we, and we've said that all year long, Aaron. They're great young men on and off the floor, and um, I love every single one of them. Matt, the Matt fam tonight was in full force in the crowd. It Man. felt four to five to one yep. to the to the counterparts. Just talk about the community support this team has, and showing up here. I'm sure your phone's blowing up with text messages from back home and across your friend base. Just talk about that support system that you have externally as well. It's been unbelievable. The last. Um, you know, really the last month and a half or so of the season, we it just kind of blew up. And I mean, obviously, when you have the Willinghams with their uh, charismatic uh, energy that they bring and the smile, and, and people love to be around them. Young kids love to be around them. Um, it, it's it's been unbelievable. And and uh, you know, obviously, when we had the Taylor Center sold out uh, for a regional championship game, and then coming here, and people continue to follow, and it got bigger Tuesday from Tuesday to Thursday to Saturday, and we had a bunch of people come over from last night from the women's championship game. The, 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 our band, I mean, the, the, electric, the electricity that they bring, our cheerleaders, I mean, um, it, I, and obviously our administration. I mean, I, I saw a lot of people that, um, that I haven't seen in a long time um, today, and, and, and they got to see one, one heck of a basketball game. Question about the game here. Start off that second half, I believe it was 18 to three run. Turn the tide, get out there, get a nice start, get in some foul trouble. And then you weather a heck of a storm down the stretch. Just talk about the message at halftime to get that run started, and the message probably at that first media when they're going to the free throw line the rest of the rest of the game. We, I mean, like I said I, I felt great. I told the team that I come in. I felt great about where we were at at halftime, down two, playing the way we did in the first half. I thought we would settle in. We did. Um, you know, I thought we got got some tough whistles here and there, but we we, we held our, our our composure. We didn't lose our composure, and we stayed with it and and continued to battle. And 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 that's what you have to do. You know, and I thought our guys. We made just some unbelievable plays down, not only offensively but defensively. You know, Malik came up with that big steal down the end. We, um, he got the ball to the floor. And Malik, you know, this is the second time he did against Northwest. He made the he. he you know, a lot of times, a couple of years ago, even maybe a year ago, Malik might have just tried to take that shot against in the regional championship or tonight. Um, but he made the right play, and, and that's why we're national champions. I mean, hey, Aaron, we are national champions. <laughs> so, Coach, you're a son of a lifelong basketball coach. Yep. Your brother's a lifelong basketball coach. You are a basketball coach, lifelong. What's in your heart right now? Uh, why, why do you do that to me, Rome? Um, I mean, I got, I'm just near to look at my family. I, I, family to me is everything. I mean, it just, it just is. I mean, I, if I wasn't coaching at Minnesota State, I'd still be a Mankato with my family. I mean, I just would. And that, I'd like to stay a Mankato for a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, I'd like to stay around a little bit longer. Um, but I, I just think that this, this Minnesota State is, is, is what I'm about, is what my family's about. Um, you know, there's a lot of love, Rome. I mean, I just, there's, there's a lot of love. And, and with you guys and, and all my friends that are here, um, my dad, I mean, hey, just all the stuff that we've been through. And it's just to see you 
And, and I know I can't wait to go back and, and watch the, the replay because they said they got you late in the game, went, and I'm sure you're doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> so, uh, but this, 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 this win tonight is, is a total Morgan Thaler win. We had some angels watch us tonight, for sure. Uh, Matt, I just want to talk about the foul trouble the team was in because I was so impressed how they continue to play good defense without picking up fouls. They have nobody fall out of the game considering how much of foul trouble was going on. I mean, that's a team effort. Guys like Harrison Broaddus put in big minutes tonight dealing with that foul trouble. I mean, that was amazing to watch in the second Harrison half. Harrison played, I mean, again, he's from a high school that he's been on the stage before. And he's, he's, he's won big, um, and I think, you know, He's had ups and downs, and it was great. To, we needed his, his energy and, and his uh, production tonight. And it, I think that when we, um, um, you know, with Malcolm, I gave us some great minutes. Obviously, Brady's been instrumental this whole year, but this whole tournament here, he's been instrumental. It's been a lot of fun. Um, when we're at our best, our bench is, his bench is helping us. And we had eight guys that, that did that tonight. And um, this was a total team effort, and, and it just, it, it, I, can't, I can't put it into words. It was just so much fun, and I, I'm just, I'm elated. Well, Coach, on Thursday you said you had 40 more minutes with these guys, but I'll still correct you. You now have the rest of your life I, I, with them. Exactly right. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. Congratulations. Thank you.